Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. My name is of course Constantine and today in the world of indie games we're going to be checking out a brand new game called Inua, a story in ice and time. And this is something that I recently came across and it really captured my attention. And I absolutely love this because as the time goes by and we're moving more and more into 2022, more incredible indie adventure games are showing up and I cannot wait to share more of them with you all. And of course if you all enjoy this and want to grab the game for yourselves, check out the link down below in the description as I always provide for all the games that I feature on this channel. And before we jump into this one, let me just take a quick moment here to thank uh, the publisher for providing me review copy to share the game with you all and i'm pretty sure that this is going to be a really interesting adventure the game is going to have a lot of puzzle that you guys know that i absolutely love and the uh, artwork is also something that i really really adore so without further ado i'm not going to prolong this one let's just jump into it and uh, see what the game is all about let's do this i mean look at this the art style though it's really gorgeous it is kind of creepy though. I mean, look at all the skeletons. Oh man, this game is so special. Look at this thing. I've always really enjoyed this type of art style. I have a feeling the game is currently presenting more character that more characters that we're gonna be uh, coming across during our adventure, right? This life was explained to me. Through the story of Nanoruluk, the colossal bear. No paws, teeth, nor other's patience measured to its own. It walked the earth for many seasons, growing until the land was too small for its comfort. All right, there we go. I think if I'm not mistaken, the game has actually started. There we go. And of course, this is going to be some sort of a point-and-click adventure game. We are going to be able to see all these uh, kind of like dreamy uh, patches of memories that we're supposed to go through and figure out what we're supposed to do. David, it's me. I didn't wake you, did I? No, I'm up. Just fixing myself a coffee. So, uh, where are you now? I just reached the Parks Canada research ship. Freezing my ass off waiting for Dr. Gervais to come show me around the boat. It's minus 15 here, more like minus 20 with the wind chilling. Yeah, I didn't send you there to report the weather, Tana. <sighs> Did you get a chance to read over the documents I sent? Yes, sir. Got it all in my backpack in case I need a quick refresher. But as of 4 a.m. this morning, I'm a full-fledged expert on the Franklin Expedition. Ready to turn it all into a great story. So long as I don't pass out in the middle of the interview. <laughs> Damn it, Dana. I thought I told you to get a good night's rest. That was the plan until my connecting flight was delayed for eight hours. But at least it gave me plenty of time to get my mind off that weird dream. Can you please just focus for a couple of days? I don't want to regret giving you this opportunity. Uh-oh. Sounds like someone needs to finish his coffee. <laughs> well, can't stand around all day chit-chatting, David. Some of us have work to do. <laughs> Greasy old bastard. He's right, though. This is a great opportunity. Might as well Hello? get to work. Hello? I have an appointment with Mr. Gervais. Alan? Great start. Uh, he can't hear me over the old fuss. Hmm. Interesting. I absolutely love the world so far, and not only that, but the voice acting, really top-notch. Uh, explore the surroundings to find tokens. Hmm, I'm supposed to find tokens. Is there something in my backpack? Yes, it is. Look at that. We got an article. 
Okay, and next up I'm thinking this is kind of show me uh, people I'm supposed to interact with. Whoa. Tokens are ideas you can install in a mind to interact with the worlds. Okay. So maybe I can install a token inside the Sammy's Isaluk's mind, I guess? The journalist has her head up her ass. Uh, she's barely spoken to me. It's like I'm invisible. Her loss. Uh, who does she think suggested looking here in the first place? If I hadn't spotted that mass in the ice last winter, they'd still be combing the sea floor 100 kilometers north of here, back where they found the uh, Airbus. But yeah, sure, talk to the Quilnaut scientist. What could you possibly learn from uh, some Illnut kids? Hmm. So apparently I could actually add this one to every single character. Maybe I should take one uh, last look at my notes. Might help to get my facts straight for my story. Oh, there we go. So these are my notes. April 22, 7.30, appointment with Alan Garvis. Location Park Canada Research Ship, Mission uh, Terra Bay. All right, next up we got Franklin Expedition left England in 1845. Two ships, Ibris and Terror, both state-of-the-art vessels uh, for the time, I guess. 134 experienced sailors aboard. Last time anyone saw the boat since then, 40 corpses was discovered, 90 still missing. Poisoning? Hmm. Uh, first tombs found on Beach Island, or on Beach Island, actually, ship found from Cambridge Bay. What nearly happened to the Franklin Expedition? What happened to the rest of the crew? Hmm, what really happened to the Franklin Expedition? What happened to the rest of the crew? Um, that's what I'm here to find out. Hmm, so apparently I'm some sort of a uh, research team here trying to figure out what happened to a specific crew that died on their ship. Uh, let me add this one to Alan, I guess. Wait, weren't we expecting a visit from the journalist today? Tanya? Talia? Something like that. I can't say I'm too keen on the idea, but the communication department seems to think it's good uh, PR for Parks Canada. Uh, speak of the oh, devil. Oh, so you're the journalist. How long were you planning on loitering outside? You want to freeze to death or come <laughs> aboard? Funny guy. I should try to make a good impression. You must be Alan Gervais. I'm Tina Hippolyte. I've... Tina, I can't wait to catch up, but my hands are full right now. Why don't you take a look around, try not to touch anything, and we'll get acquainted later, yes? I just wanted to ask if you... Fantastic. <laughs> I think that was a good impression. Um, okay, so there we go. We made our way inside the ship. I should have chatted with this guy a little bit. Maybe he would have uh, told me some more stuff. I don't know. What about my backpack? <laughs> Am I not going to grab it? Yeah, it doesn't like I can interact with it anymore. All right, let me chat with this fella then. Let me add this to him again. Good publicity for the Parks Canada, they say. That's if she managed to write anything at all. We'll be lucky if she doesn't throw up from uh, sea sneakness. Then again, if she does, at least we'll have a good laugh. <laughs> All right, now, what am I supposed to do? Tanya learns about the expedition, and Tanya boards the ship, or boards the ship. Hmm. I think I'm supposed to... Actually, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do here. Oh, there we go. Interesting. We opened up the map a little bit more, and we got discoveries. I remember an old story the elders used to tell. All two hunters who found the wreckage of the Airbus before it sank and went in to explore. Down in the bill of the boat, they came across a grinning giant, standing there completely still in the dark. Later, we figured out it was probably the frozen corpse of one of the crew. And the grin, who would have been due to scurvy? Hopefully, the fish ate the bodies a long time ago. I don't need to see any of that. Hmm. Uh, can I add that one to myself as well? The discovery of the terror is a landmark moment in the history of Canada. The Franklin Expedition is stuff of legend here. Uh, we learned about the search of the Northwest Passage in school a few years ago. Then Prime Minister Stephen Harper launched an expedition to locate the wreckage. But he didn't just want to unravel the mystery of what happened to the crew. He also wanted to assert Canadian uh, sovereignty in the area. I want to find the truth behind the myth. Hmm. Uh, so we do have two more characters right here. Oh, what is that? It's not like we can interact with it, but I do see a hole inside these barrels. Ooh, tin cans. Awesome. Time to find out what was on the menu aboard these the Terror. These tin cans are really well preserved. We found them on a shelf in the pantry. I wouldn't crack one open, though. Let me guess. They've <laughs> expired? Worse. They may have been tainted with lead from a faulty sealing process. Ah, uh, yes, I think I've read about that. You think that might have been what killed the crew? Not necessarily. 
From our preliminary tests, the levels of lead in the crew's bones are consistent with those of other sailors at the time. Back then, your average Brit was exposed to higher levels of lead than we are today. The joys of living through the Industrial Revolution, I guess. We'll have a toxicological analysis completed in the coming months. Then we'll know for sure. Man, I absolutely love the voice acting. It's just so well done. So well done. All right, um, what else can we discover right here? Hmm. I don't think there's anything else we got to discover yet. Let me uh, ask about the tin cans. I don't quite see the point of collecting all these old cans, but I guess that's why I drive the uh, Zodiac. <laughs> All right, let me chat with him about, I guess, discoveries. The more I think about it, the more I'm amazed by what I found. The Wreck of Terror is a near perfection condition. I bet the thing would float if you could bring it uh, to the surface. If you keep on it at this rate, we'll soon understand what uh, really happened to the Franklin Expedition. And lastly, let's ask about the tin cans. Anything we found on board the Terror may offer clues to what happened on the last voyage. All right, let me chat with her, I guess, about the article. Uh, here comes journalist. Okay, Maggie, try not to say anything now stupid. Now, what's a nice <laughs> ship like the HMS Terror doing in a place like this? Ha, uh, you know, we're not completely surprised by where it ended up. We knew the Terror had been stuck in the ice with the Erebus, about a hundred kilometers north of here. I read about that. That's where things really started to go wrong for the Franklin Expedition, right? Right, and since the Erebus was found further south in 2014, we figured the Terra would be somewhere between those two points. Still, it was a stroke of luck that anyone found it at all, and in such good condition. It must be so exciting. Imagine all the things we could learn from this. We won't have to imagine for much longer. Hmm. Hey, uh, are you gonna use any of that in your piece? Maybe. Uh, next up, let me ask about the uh, tin cans. They ate nothing but canned food, had no entertainment, lived lives of constant suffering. No doubt about it, the seafarers of the 19th centuries lived like grand students or grad students. I got a glimpse of the officers' quarters when we were in the uh, submarine. Maps, scientific instruments, not to mention the captain's office, all perfectly preserved. But the one thing I really want to get my hands on is the ship's logbook. We could learn so much about those final days aboard the Terror. The divers have looked, but they can't find it anywhere. Maybe someone beat us to it? Hmm. Alright, what about this one? What can he tell me? I am a little hungry, but not that hungry. <laughs> oh man, the journalist is coming over. If I play my cards right, maybe I can get a mention in this piece of hers? Hi, I'm Tanev from The Discoverer. Mind if I ask a few questions? I understand you've made some interesting discoveries. <laughs> interesting would be an understatement. This stuff is groundbreaking. Uh, where do I even begin? I think what our readers really want to know is whether we're any closer to finding out what happened to the Terror and her crew. We've still got a lot of work to do to figure that out. Work, Jeffrey. You remember the concept? Sorry, <laughs> no time to chat, but have a look at what we already pulled out today. Might be interesting. All right, I'm guessing he's talking about the cans, right? Because I don't really see anything else. Uh, so let me chat with him again about discoveries. The divers uh, have given the signal. Their search basket must be full. Maggie hasn't noticed yet. This could be my chance to look good in front of Alan. Maggie, what are you waiting for? Act huh? Oh, okay, I'll do it right away. But... But what? No excuses. Come on, wake up. We've all got a job to do. It's just that, last time I checked, you were on winch duty. Damn it! <laughs> oh, I think they probably got something out of the water. Fine, there we go. I'm on it. Better than standing here all day arguing about who's supposed to do what anyway. Hmm, well, isn't this a friendly work environment? So apparently I just found something, some bones by the looks of it. But I cannot really interact with them. Can I pull them up? Hmm, it's not working. Seriously, why is it not working? Ah, oh, there we go. Remains. Interesting. Alright, so we got more stuff out of that. Uh, I don't think we got anything else. So, we got the remains, right? Uh, let me implement uh, the remains into this guy's head. It's not easy to make the dead talk. Who knows what happened on board that ship? Alright. 
Let me add the remains to my character. Whoa, skulls. I got here just in time. Are those the crew? It's been a long time since anyone found human remains from the Franklin expedition. This must be a landmark discovery, Dr. Gervais. Just 87 more and you'll have the full set. <laughs> Indeed, it's quite the breakthrough. But as is often the case with these discoveries, these remains pose more questions than answers. Why would so many of these men have remained on the ship? They could have risked it and tried to reach the continent on foot. Instead, they just waited here to die. The expedition's not over yet. Maybe you'll find your answers. Maybe, or maybe we'll never know. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Apparently, we're moving to a new location. We can navigate freely between uh, eras in order to unfold the story. Are you kidding me? So, am I going to be able to actually go back in time to the to see what actually happened to the crew? That is awesome. Well, let me go then. Let's see what this is all about. This is Lieutenant, really epic. A decision must be made. My nose keeps going Made quickly <laughs> if we are to have any chance of surviving. Mr. Woodruff, might I remind you that I am the last remaining officer on board? I, and I alone, will make the decisions about the crew on this ship. There are barely 30 of us left. The summer ahead looks to be as cold as the last. Sir, we must abandon the terror. Abandon the terror? Nonsense! You would be well advised to hold your tongue on such matters. Sir, I beg you, please. Listen to me before it's too late. If we leave now, I'm sure we can still... The only thing you can be sure of, Woodruff, is that your next word on this will be your last. Wow, that fool, he's risking our lives. He hasn't got what it takes to be in command. But the men still follow him all the same. Is it fear, loyalty, or is it just blind obedience? I have to find something to convince them to leave this ship with me. Should I tell them about my dream? Hmm, no, no, they, they never listen, or they never believe me actually. I'm not sure I believe myself. There has to be something else. What? Are you kidding me? I have a feeling this fella tried to warn them, and I have a feeling this fella has actually escaped. And we're just gonna be on our journey to find out more what happened to him uh, than the crew, because definitely the crew died completely. Ooh, so we got the escape boat over there. Uh, that's gonna be a jammed wheel. We got cannons over here, the firepower. So we had the firepower, we had the means to escape. Uh, what else? We got... Oh, dead people, look at that. So people started dying, apparently. Uh, we got the flag. There's something back here, but I cannot really... Wait, what is that? Oh, this is allowing me to go back and forth. I get it, between eras. Awesome. Um, I think that's kind of about everything. I don't really see anything else that we got to interact with in here. Uh, what if I keep on going this way? Yeah, I think that's about it. Let me interact with the far power to him. The Terra was a bomb ship, much like the Airbus, the purpose for Arctic exploration. She survived the War of 1812, expeditions to the Arctic and Antarctic too. Can't say I've had much of a discussed career, and yet, here we both are. What about the death? Dozens of us have died already, and we'll join them if we continue to do nothing. But these men are prisoners of the old world. They haven't had the stomach to question authority. How many more will we lose before they listen to reason? No, if anyone else has to die, it should be the bastard that keeps us prisoners here. I'd rather convince him, but I'll do whatever it takes to get off this boat. Uh, we could load up those lifeboats with as much as we could carry and drag them south. Food, provisions, items to trade with the inuits we might meet along the way? Hmm, it will be hard work, but I don't see an alternative. Alright, what about the captain? Let me add firepower to the captain. We're the boys that fear noise. Whilst the thundering cannons roar. Boom, boom. Campbell, <laughs> Campbell you worthless layabout. Aye, sir. What's the status of the cannon? In full work in order, sir. At least, I think it is. Mm, yes, capital. Keep up the good work, lad. We'll make a sailor of you yet. Hmm. So what if I add firepower to this fella? The lieutenant has us exercising the guns every morning, even after everything has happened. He says it's good for discipline, but it feels more ridiculous with each passing day. If there was a way off the ship, we would have taken it already. Besides, what would we even do out there? How we survive? How we find our way? We wouldn't make it far without help, and who's going to help us? 
I will never have become the lieutenant's aide de camp if Smith hasn't died. Some promotion that was. He spent most of his days locked in his cabin, always muttering to himself and, uh, and scrawling in the logbook of his. Maybe I should tell someone about what I saw this morning, or maybe that should be more uh, trouble than it's worth? What did you just saw? Hmm, I'm curious. Airbus deep darkens, a mausoleum, she was a mausoleum by the end, cold disease and starvation, not for me, no. That hole so thick, yet shattered, shattered by the ice, no choice but to leave, had to sail away, had to sail away aboard the terror. But who will pay, who will pay the price for uh, abandoning the Airbus? Questions will be asked, the admiralty will want answers, me, no, surely no, I was uh, to be such a brilliant career. But if yes, but if I can save the terror and all those who sail in there. Parades? Parades. Parades in the name of the Lieutenant Graham Corps. Hmm. This guy went nuts, let me tell you. Incredible, Lieutenant. You even managed to maintain the lifeboat during the uh, whole ordeal. I was merely acting on according to the uh, principles installed in the me during the training, Admiral. I assume you've already met my daughter? Yeah, I have yet to have the pleasure, Enchant Mademoiselle. Hmm. Alright, and last we got the Henry Clark. If the lieutenant says we stay here, I suppose he knows best. It's hardly like I have a better plan. We'll have to bury those poor bastards as best we can, but who's going to bury us? If only I could read, I could find comfort in the Bible the pastor gave me before I left home. To arm my battle axe and weapons of war, with thee I will destroy kingdoms. I always found it easier to memorize the parts about fighting. I uh, wonder what it what that is. I mean, it doesn't look like um, these fellas are gonna offer any help to me. Hmm. Let me switch to this side and chat with these fellas then. I refuse to die here. I long to see Scotland again. I must return home. Ellie, my love, more my treasure. Nothing will keep me from seeing you again. I'll do whatever it takes to get home to you. I have a feeling I will be able to escape with this guy because he does have a purpose, apparently. Lifeboat. Ha! <laughs> Some good those will do for us now. They'd better be used for firewood. I'd be surprised if those cannons could even fire after so long in the cold. And yet Gore has us running them out every morning. For what? What's expecting you to fight out here? Seals? Polar bears? <laughs> Alright, and lastly we got this fella. Months ago, a few men left the ship to try and leave a message in a, in a cane nearby, or in a cairn nearby. God knows how far they got. We never heard from them again. Dang it, seriously? I wonder whatever the lieutenant has uh, listed the name of the dead in the, his lockbook. He certainly spent enough time in his cabin. Typical. Uh, here we are freezing to death, and that bastard has his own private room. Hmm. He's even got a window. Not that there's much of a uh, view right now. Oh, you know what? I think I could actually do this and look in the window. There we go. We got the logbook. September 10, 1848. This is Lieutenant Graham Gore, last surviving officer aboard Terror. Though our situation is dire, I have full confidence in the admiralty. I am certain that as I write this, a recovery operation is underway. As such, it is my duty to ensure that the Terror is ready for inspection when we are rescued. Are you kidding me, buddy? Nobody's coming. Here's at sea with only these wretched, illiterate uh, seamen for company. The conversation is hardly sim stimulating. Better to spend my time in my quarters, finding solace in one of the many volumes from the ship's well-stocked library. I must read the last Dickens before this Palestine use it for kindling. Mr. Dickens, I hope this letter finds you well. I myself remain inbound or icebound in the Northwest Territories. I require your assistance in persuading famed Arctic explorer Sir James Clark Ross to lead a rescue expedition. Sadly, I have never met Sir James. I am, uh, however, all acquainted with this cousin Albert or his cousin Albert. Do you know him? And lastly, stripping her for all she's worth, her boom boom, her ding, her dingaling. No, a canary in the mine, plumb the depths of poison, meaty oarsman, fatigue sets, in dragging the boy in his magic lantern, wrapping a stone man in the dancing image, three hunting or only one. Where did your brother go? Your Yorick? Hmm. Alright, so we got the logbook added, and the rest of the windows apparently. Oh, never mind, this one is open, but uh, apparently nothing in there. Yeah, and the rest of them I've already got. Hmm. Well, what if I 
ask about the logbook for this fellow. Those officers with their endless meetings, big dinners, comfy cabins, writing in their logbooks, and look where that got us. Good riddance, if you ask me. In these conditions, the soul is tested as much as, as the body. It's not a test many of us have passed. All the military might, the most advanced ship in Her Majesty Navy. But what's good for all those guns out there? Nothing. Perhaps one day someone will be able to catalog all the errors that brought us to this point. That assuming the officers have been recording all their decisions, I guess. Alright, let me go back to this side then and uh, let's see what he's got to say about the logbook. My writings, yes, my writings will exonerate me in the eyes of the uh, admiralty. But these, these swine, these swine must not see my logbook. Why? They can barely read. And even if they could, they couldn't possibly understand. Couldn't understand the burden. What it takes to lead the youngest officer on board. It was to be a brilliant career. Hmm. This fellow is nuts. I'm guessing I'm supposed to show him the logbook. And probably that's what I'm supposed to do to progress here. Gore was in his cabin again. Uh, what keeps him so occupied in there? Hmm. The men need leadership. But they're not ready to challenge Gore's authority. I have to find the arguments to convince them to leave the terror with me. If I could somehow prove that Gore is, uh, is the wrong man to lead us. But I don't even know what's going on in the, in the head of his. Maybe young Roden can help me? Gore treats him as he's lucky. But I don't know if I can trust him. Or if he can trust me actually. So I'm guessing I gotta go with this fellow, yeah. And uh, ask him about the logbook. I have to say something. Woodruff will know what to Mr. do. Mr. Woodruff? I need to speak with you about something I saw in Lieutenant Gore's cabin. I saw him writing in his logbook again this morning, but he seemed distressed. I was curious, so I took a look. My reading ain't so good, but... But it was nonsense, sir. The mindless ramblings of a madman, as far as I could tell. Yep, that's exactly what I got out of that uh, notebook as well. He's beginning to crack under the pressure. I see. You've done the right thing coming to me, lad. If what Rudin says is true, then the men need to know. Ah, so apparently next up, I gotta implement the seed into, into everybody's head, right? So that we can figure out how to escape. Uh, logbook. Gore's gone mad? I'll admit it. It wouldn't be the first time I've seen it happen at the sea. That madman, he'll condemn us all to an icy grave. If there's even a chance we could make it home, we have to take it. I'd risk everything to see my family one more time. I hope I don't have to fire the pistol. I haven't had so much as a winged bird since uh, we've been out here. Oh, so apparently we do have pistols, which means we gotta rebel. Alright, let me uh, tell him about the uh, logbook as well. The logbook is nothing but a revenge of a madman. If only we were uh, some way to help uh, the poor soul. I've heard talk of a doctor removing parts of brain in cases like this. <laughs> what? No, that's insanity. But I doubt I have the skills for such a procedure. I'd rather take my chance out there uh, than watch another man waiting away in the cursed ship. We know that at least we tried. If there is one thing that my past experience has taught me, is that survival is a matter of will. Gore has been crushed under the pressure, it's hard to blame him. But if you continue to follow his order, we're sure to die here. Don't resist, Lieutenant, it's better this way. Alright, and lastly we can chat about the firepower, I guess. I pray to God I don't have to treat a gunshot wound, or treat a gunshot wound. I'd hardly know where to start. So I don't think we had any medics around here, which is kinda, kinda sad. It's worse than I thought. Page after page of uh, drivel, and on and on. Letters never sent poems of drawings. I can't let him hold us back any Listen longer. Listen up, lads. You too, Gore. The lieutenant here is under the impression that we're about to be rescued. I'm sad to say I don't share his optimism. Enough of your insubordination, Woodruff. I'll have you lashed if you say another word. Lashed? Who'll be doing the lashing, lieutenant? The Admiralty. Maybe one of your famous friends can help you. What? It's all here in the logbook, lads. The poor bugger's gone mad. He's gonna get us all killed. These men are still loyal to me, Woodruff. Still loyal to the Crown. 
Perhaps we should let the men answer for themselves, sir. Hmm. Of course, that is not gonna happen because the people, the men, are not loyal to you anymore, buddy. Uh, the people just want to survive. So we are already done with these two. We just gotta figure out how to get these two as well on the same boat. All right, let me go with uh, this one first, I guess. Let me go with uh, firepower. I hope to God this doesn't end in bloodsheds. I've never ever fired this pistol before. How am I going to fare in a fair fight or firefight? Woodruff sounds like he has a plan. At least, at the very least, it beats sitting here and waiting to die. Gore has to be stopped. He's out of his mind. I understand him wanting to prove himself. He's not much older than I am. But even I am older enough to know that I don't want to freeze to death here. Oh! We are going oh no, 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 it's starting! Ship, and we're going to live to tell the tale. Mr. Woodruff will show us the way. I'm sure of it. There we go. Apparently the rebellion is starting. Uh, let me activate this fellow as well. Uh, logbook. I had a peek at Gore's uh, feverish scrabbling in this, this strange script. I may not be able to read, but I don't know the devil's work when I see it, or I do know the devil's work when I see it. Wanderoff, an odd fella, but he has something about him. Maybe there's a way out of this after all. There is no choice left to make. This man will lead us all out to hell. Oh, there we go. Give it up, Lieutenant. From now on, we'll put our faith in the Lord, not you. Alright, so it is working every um, after all. And then well, let's go with escape. They're starting to believe me. They're starting to believe that there's a way out of this. Maybe there was some truth in that dream I had. Oh, man, I'm really curious to see the dream that he's had, actually. Um, they're all with me now. I have no choice but to all end right, this. Alright, It's over. The men are with me. Am I getting off this godforsaken ship? Oh! Scoundrels! What? Fools. Oh no! I think they're gonna shoot him. Crucifix is by the shore. A pile of rocks atop your bones. It's not too late, Lieutenant. You can still come with us. You, you stole an officer's property, and then then tricked these men with your lies about my writings. How how could you understand? How could you possibly understand? You're not thinking clearly, Lieutenant. You're... And why should these men trust a lowly wretch like you? Why? When you left England, you could barely write your own name. Listen, you daft bastard. You're not in charge anymore. You can come with us, or you can freeze to death here. You're leading these men to their deaths, Woodruff. And I'll spill your blood before any of you leave this ship. Oh Keep no! Your hands clean, <laughs> Are you kidding me? Are they gonna kill each other? Hopefully not. Alright, so apparently that memory has gone, which means now we gotta go back in here and keep on figuring out what happened to um the to the crew next. Oh, that was so awesome. And I'm not quite sure exactly uh, what we're going to be able to discover here, but you know what? I'm really, really enjoying this so far. Uh, I cannot wait to explore the world more in the next episodes if we keep on going and see what happened to the crew. Uh, I'm pretty sure they eventually escaped and they got the boat and uh, explored more of it. But uh, yeah, I guess we're going to have to wait and see the next one. And until next time, thank you all very much for watching. Uh, if you really enjoyed this game you want to grab it for yourselves or give it as a present to somebody, check out the links down below in the description. And that being said, I'll see you all the next time real soon. Bye, everybody.